No my Heidi and my Kitsi Ohu Alkatsi Ko Piper. Kia ora and welcome to the Nelson Mulbra Stop Smoking Service. Uh, my name is Gail Hay and I'm a health promoter for Nelson Mulbra Health um, and the Public Health Service. Um, and today I'll be taking you through your smoke free orientation. Um, before we start, I wanted to let you know that our smoke free team will be contacting you in the next two to three weeks. Um, that's just to ask you if you have everything that you need, um, if you feel confident in supporting your patients and clients to become smoke free. Um, we're always here to help, so please and contact us in the future if you do have any questions. Okay, so to get started, um, I first wanted to say um, why smoke free is so important. Um, smoking affects our, our family and whānau um, to really extreme um, lengths. Um, we know that um, approximately 5,000 New Zealanders die every year of smoking related illnesses. Um, so it's a really big one for our nation. Um, I also wanted to let you know that all our um, all DHB grounds are smoke free and vape free. And that's really to protect not only our, our patients, but also um, anyone who's coming onto our grounds to protect their health as well from secondhand smoke. So the Stop Smoking Service. So here's our, um, our information here. You'll likely see our posters and our rat cards throughout the hospital um, and um, through different DHB sites. Um, and I'll just touch a little bit about the service. So it's a completely free, confidential and face-to-face -face service. And it's available to everybody who smokes in the Nelson, Tasman and Marlborough region. It's partnered with Nelson Marlborough Health and Te Piki Oranga Māori Wellness Services. And it's where we offer one-to-one face-to-face um, or phone support um, through a quick coach. So a quick coach is somebody who's been specially trained to support people as, uh, through their smoke-free journey um, and really be there to walk alongside them through each step. Um, and it's all about finding um, flexible, customizable support that's gonna support that person on their journey. So we offer home visits, workplace group support, and also community clinics. So our quick coaches are spaced out across the region quite well. Um, they can be found at the, uh, at the Nelson Hospital in Outpatients, at the Richmond Health Hub in Motueka, at Victory Community, um, and in Marlborough in the Benham Health Hub. So the Stop Smoking Service offers free nicotine replacement therapy products, so that's patches, gum, and lozenges. Um, and we also offer information about other smoke-free products, medications, and vaping devices. So we're, we do our best to be a one-stop shop. Another program that sits within the Stop Smoking service is called Piggy First. Um, and why this is a little bit different from um, what we might offer to most people, Happy First is specially designed for our hapu mamas, for our pregnant, our pregnant women um, who aren't smoke-free just yet. So the main differences with the PB First program is that a quick coach will work with, um, with our pregnant mums throughout their pregnancy and also after baby is born. And we also have the amazing option of being able to, um, to celebrate with, with mum by rewarding her and celebrating um, through um, supermarket vouchers to really celebrate, um, I keep saying celebrate, it's just really exciting um, when mum becomes smoke free. Um, so supermarket, supermarket vouchers. Okay, so I thought I'd take you through um, a few truths about smoking. Um, so for a very long time, there's been a myth that smoking um, can be helpful for reducing stress. Uh, we now know that smoking actually increases stress and anxiety. Um, that's partly through the physical strain that smoking puts on your body, um, both physically and mentally. Um, and another good way to think about how smoking increases stress is the huge financial strain that it causes on a lot of family and whānau. So smoking will improve the effectiveness of pain medication. That's a really good fact to remember um, if you have somebody who is hesitant to become smoke free or also for end of life patients. Smoking will give you health benefits at any stage of your life. Um, and I also wanted to mention that vaping is different to smoking. So 
oh, it may visually look very similar. Um, vaping contains ingredients that are heated and not burnt. So when somebody's vaping, they're not um, breathing in carbon monoxide. Um, and vaping is also estimated to be a lot safer than smoking tobacco. We don't have any long-term studies yet, um, so it is only estimated to be a lot safer at this stage. And finally, um, a packet of cigarettes costs approximately $35.90. So standing alone, that might not seem like too much, but if we're looking at a weekly cost for smoking a packet a day, $252 and an annual cost of $13,000. So you can see where that stress starts to kick in. Um, so smoke-free ABCs. So a lot of you will be very aware of um, having a smoke-free conversation. Um, I just wanted to give you a nice little refresher and break it down for anybody that might be a little bit unsure. So ABCs, asking, giving brief advice, offering smoking cessation. So you can simply begin a, a smoke-free conversation with somebody by saying, Kia ora, have you ever smoked and are you a current smoker? So a current smoker is anybody who has smoked in the last 30 days. This can include people who also identify as casual smokers. Um, so we've asked, we know that somebody smokes. So our next step is to be, give brief advice. In my professional opinion, the best thing that you can do for your health is to quit smoking. So when you give brief advice, um, a great thing to do is relate it back to that person's current situation to make it really relevant for them. So the best thing that you can do um, to help your leg heal is to quit smoking because and, and really explain why it's going to benefit them. And finally, offering smoking cessation. Um, so that's through the Stop Smoking service. So the Stop Smoking service offers free face-to-face -face confidential support. I'd really like to refer you through to them. Would that be okay? So it's really great to note in this um, for, for how you're offering this is to not ask if somebody's interested they're more likely to say no um, we're simply asking for um, their permission and giving them a bit of information so I'd like to refer you through would that be okay so you can find out more about having um, smoke-free conversations and smoke-free ABCs um, through the internet by the um, guide to the yellow sticker and also the smoking cessation um, ABC clinical guidelines and I'll show you shortly about so you can find those on the internet Charting NRT for inpatients. So when a person comes into your care, you're given a really unique opportunity to talk with somebody who is likely to be feeling extra motivated by their current health situation. It is very normal for a patient to be asked multiple times during this day about their smoking. Um, and that really means that we're doing our job well if, if someone says that they have already been asked. So this First, when we ask, might be to establish that person's smoking status by using our smoke-free ABCs. And then when we ask again, it is to ensure that they are kept as comfortable and safe as possible during their care with us. So um, for nicotine replacement therapy products, NRT, it's free, they are free to all inpatients. And options include nicotine patches, gum, lozenges, and inhalators at various strengths. Um, two to note, however, is that the inhalator and quick mist are hospital only and under special criteria. Um, so they can be for patients that are nil by mouth, um, agitated and mental health patients as well. So it's really important that a patient is given multiple opportunities to access NRT while they are in hospital. Um, this will ensure that the patient is made more comfortable from nicotine withdrawal symptoms and the big ones that they don't, we want to encourage them not to leave to smoke. So if they're feeling more comfortable, they're less likely to go outside and light up. Um, it's additionally really important that a patient is regularly checked in with um, to ensure that they are receiving a high enough dosage of clean nicotine. Um, so you can think about having this check-in like you would for a patient um, that is, if they are receiving enough pain medication. So we wanted to ensure that a person can be made as comfortable and relaxed as possible. Um, another good point to note is that many um, people that our quick coaches work with out in the community, um, they re sometimes require multiple patches to be worn at once um, to, re to reduce the nicotine withdrawal symptoms um, and so that they can really um, uh, 
remain smoke-free or become smoke-free. So how to refer? It's really nice and simple um, to refer to the Stop Smoking service, and there are a couple of options for how you can do that. Um, so one is using the um, referral form that's available on the internet, and there are also referral forms printed off at ward stations. I'll show you in a moment whereabouts you can find this on the internet, though. Um, if in doubt, please just give us a phone call. So 0800 no smoke, um, or you can send us an email. Um, I know that um, a lot of, a, a few times our mapping nurses have used our, um, our online referral form. Um, if you can't find that on the internet and all else fails, um, you can simply jump on Google and Google will stop smoking service and find our online referral form there and that'll come straight through to us. So on the intranet, um, really nice and simple. We're right at the bottom of that list with the red arrow. So you can click down on clinical and right at the bottom there is smoke free. So clinical and then click smoke free. Here is our um, Stop Smoking Service internet web page. You can see on the right, there is a quick access to the online referral form or you can additionally choose to print off the, um, the PDF of the Stop Smoking Service referral form. Again, they're available on the left too. We're covering all bases to make it as easy as possible for you to find us. Um, additionally, on this page, you can find more information about um, where you can find more training um, and access to those guidelines that I've mentioned. So further training that is available can be found through, via Learn. Um, I really, really encourage you to do this training. It can fill in a few, few more boxes and um, you can learn a little bit more about how you can really comfortably have those conversations. Um, other useful resources that you can find on our intranet page is our, um, the Smoke Free Policy. Find out a little bit more about um, some, some, some guidelines. Um, also the ABC Clinical Guidelines that I mentioned, and then there's a link to the ABC Pathways from the Ministry of Health. So here is most of our team. We have a few people missing in that picture. Um, I'm really proud to be a part of this team. We've got a great bunch, some very highly skilled um, quick coaches and health promoters here. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at any time and we'll do our absolute best to help you. Um, thank you so much for listening in um, and we'll go to some questions. Kia ora, thank you so much.